time to go walking with John Murray. Thank you very much, Rachel, and good morning. Coming up on the show, as you say, we're going to bring you back to last Sunday in Bunchlody and our walk through the lovely hills of Wexford and Carlow in the company of a huge throng. We'll have the words, music and crack. Um, Picture the scene, a pet day... Last Sunday, a few miles from the town of Bunclody in County Wexford, amid some of the loveliest scenery you'll find anywhere in Ireland, and a huge crowd of over 1,200 gathered for the latest outing of the John Murray Show Walking Club. So big was the crowd that they were getting restless and impatient before the start. So we had to keep them entertained before we headed up the appropriately named John's Hill. Rory Murphy from the Clody Loafers. You're the man who's uh, made this possible here today with your organisation on the ground. And it was uh, a wonderful experience at about 11 o'clock this morning, Rory. The mist lifted off the hills and we can see to our left what a wonderful sight it is. Tell us exactly about it. Well, across to our left here now you can see, first of all, the highest mountain is Mount Leinster itself. Uh, Just down then beside that you have a middle mountain called the Crow's Nest which gets its name from the little dip that you can see in the middle of it. Then you have Black Rock Mountain at the end, and between the Crow's Nest and Black Rock Mountain you have Monier, which is where the turf cutting used to take place for hundreds of years. And if you look on a nice clear day, you can see the turf cutters hut up there, where they used to take shelter from the stormy weather. The well, look, it must be, uh, if you look behind you now, Rory, it must be a bit of a thrill. It's probably the biggest crowd that has climbed this hill oh, for a long sh- time. Oh, the biggest crowd ever. Happy walking. Pat Byrne, how are you? That's the crack, John. How are you? Well, it's great to be here, Pat. I should explain that you're one of the people who has created quite a stir on the TV show The Voice. Yeah. Well done. You're through to the live stages. Yeah, thank God. Looking forward to it now. Um, I think one of the judges described you as an Irish Bruce Springsteen, so no, no pressure. <laughs> yeah, that's a big confidence. Springsteen's probably my biggest idol, so... You yeah. gave a rendition of The River. Yeah. You were one of the few contestants who actually had all four judges turning in their chairs yeah um, that was a big surprise I was absolutely delighted with that I think there was uh, two other people that got all four Nullig and Connor. so yeah how did, how did it feel? it felt unreal <laughs> I had just nearly finished the song so I'd given up like and they just turned around at the very last minute so now tell me about a bit of the uh, friction between uh, Brezzy and Kane. Uh, I don't know much about it actually from what I see backstage they got on very well like, but for the cameras is it? I don't know, but it's coming across that way anyway, so... So, are you enjoying it? I'm having the time of my life, yeah. Uh, hopefully I'm staying it for another couple of weeks. That would be great. So if everyone wants to vote for me, that'd be lovely. Keep an eye out. You're from just over the mountain here in, in, in Boris, so it's a big deal for Boris as well, and County Carlow, isn't it? It's great for Boris, yeah. There's a lot of stuff happening around locally now. Uh, the local GAA team won the All-Ireland, so... Intermediate Ireland Championship, yeah. yeah. Well, Pat, I know you have a bit of bronchitis, but... We've one more request for you this morning. We're, yeah. ask, we're going to ask you to sing halfway. Yeah, no worries. So, uh, do your best. And uh, as I say, it'll probably be the last thing you... Well, no, it's good for you. Walking will good for you. It'll, it'll uh, get air into your lungs. And, I'm feeling great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you dragged your girlfriend, Maria, along. She's delighted too. Maria's here. Yeah, she'll never talk to you again. <laughs> it's your first, this is your first outdoor gig. First of many, hopefully. We're looking forward to it, Pat. Thanks. Thanks for being, John. And uh, I'm joined now by a group from the Bagnallstown Baden Powell Scout Troop. And guess what they're going to sing, aren't you? Sounds good enough for me. 
So let's walk and sing. Now we're delighted to be joined today by our colleagues from Nationwide and uh, Mary Kennedy is leading the throngs behind us out here. Mary, are you a keen walker? I love walking, John, I have to say. Um, I'm part of a group and we go walking different places, maybe five times a year, and then with the family as well. There's just nothing nicer than, you know, on a day like today, even if the weather isn't as nice as it is, getting out there, getting up, coming back down, tired, and you just feel so good about yourself. And it just, for me, it sets me up for the week. It gives me, it cleans out my my head and makes me feel optimistic and enthusiastic about the week ahead. By Tuesday, that's gone. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no joke. Uh, yeah. So would you walk every week or every month or no. would you go on a serious hike? Uh, how often would you go on a serious hike? Well, say? two weeks ago, um, myself and my family, cousins, you know, brothers and their children and everything, we did the Sphinx in Glendalough and we didn't have good weather, but yet we had a great day out. We had soup, we had it at, uh, on the bridge just as you're, you've reached the top. Um, the weather wasn't great, but we had a wonderful time. Yeah. I've done some interesting ones as well, like parts of the Camino de Santiago and um, the Valencia Island and the Morns and things like that. And those are those are real adventures as well. So you're obviously fit there, Mary. Well, I'm I, I'm gasping here talking to you. Yeah, I know. It's but that's easy. because we're walking we, yes, and talking. Yeah, you don't know else, you have to do well, that. Everybody else is camping behind, so I think. <laughs> oh, we're going uphill. Anyway, Mary, it's great to have you along. Delighted to be and here, And happy John. walking. And you did promise, by the way, that when we got to halfway, that you would at least sing <laughs> our dance. Can I hold you to that? You did, in a moment of weakness earlier. I'll sing along. I can sing along. Okay. We've come to a stop underneath these uh, monstrous windmills. No. Yes, sir. John, how are you? Hello, John. Tell us, uh, how high is that windmill? That windmill with the blade up into the sky is 300 feet. 300 feet? Yeah. Yeah. If I was to buy one of them now, how much would it set me back now? About two million. For one? Yeah. So you have one, two, three, four. Four. So you have loads of money now. That's the. Uh, <laughs> we spent loads of money. Yeah. Your brother is here. What's your name? Yes, Joe. Joe is my name, yeah. Joe, Joe Deacon yeah. is here as well, Noel's brother. Yes. Does it make business sense? Are you making yes. money, lads, out of it? Yeah, yeah. It's a huge investment, isn't it? The, the there are windmills, like. There are windmills, yeah. yeah. They're on site now seven years, so uh, they're working well at the moment and showing a profit. Yeah. Given the success of them so far, would you buy a few more? We are in the process of buying another one, yes. I'll be looking for a loan off you, John, because I know <laughs> right. you're, you're well able to yeah. pony up. I'll tell you what now, I'll, uh, <laughs> if I start charging... I'll, 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 I'll charge some of the walkers now. Oh, maybe. that's what we should have done, yeah. What do you reckon? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a very impressive. I mean, there are some people who say they ruined the skyline. But looking at it here, and the sun has just come out yeah. through the clouds, and I'm looking south at the mountains and at John's Hill and Buntlode beyond it and Wicklow. On a clear day, you can see the coast of Wexford. If you turn back this way... You're looking up into Carlow, Kildare, and up in the top you can look actually into County Kilkenny. So it's a beautiful, uh, we're up on a nice height here, you know. I presume there's a lift, or there's a, a lift, not yeah, rather than so steps? Steps? 198. 198 steps. 198. I'll give it a skip today, lads. All right, John. <laughs> Thanks yeah, anywhere for sh- day, showing us around, and good luck with the investments. Cheers, yeah, you. I'll send you a check. We'll be back for that long. <laughs> yeah. okay. Paddy Looney from the South East Mountain Rescue Team. You've been filling me in on some of the wildlife that you might come across that might be a surprise, I suppose, to some people. Absolutely, John. I mean, in this particular area, you know, only a number of weeks ago, one of the members of the Hill Walking Club was having his lunch and looked up and said, what was over him? Only a golden eagle. One, one of the pairs that were recently released up in Wicklow. Right. So they're beginning to range and establish themselves down this part of the world as well, which is a good thing. Um, there's also all the, lots of deer, all the usual badgers, foxes, rabbits, hares, lots and lots of different birds. You won't hear them today, you know, because they're, obviously they're the noise of the we call them the pilgrims behind. If we were on our own, we might, but not, not with yeah. the throng. It's an ideal place to come on your own, nice and quiet and peaceful. And we've come across a group of uh, walkers. How are you? How are you Will you not just turn around and come with us? Yeah, uh, we'll huh? yeah, come on, just turn around and come with us. We guarantee you a sing song at the top of the mountain. <laughs> come on, turn around and come with us. Where are you from? But uh, so we've just literally passed through a, we call it a guard of honour, of members of the Tulla Mountaineering Club and the Tyndall Walking Club with the Kenny, who were actually up here on a scheduled giant walk today. And they didn't uh, 
They weren't persuaded to turn around, but should they be? No, open? they were actually joining. They were going to join in at the back. They're coming with us. Oh, great! So they'll walk oh, with us for great. a ride. That's great to know. Well, Paddy, uh, thanks a million for uh, filling us in on some of the wildlife we might spot on the mountain, and uh, congratulations to you and your team with Southeast Mountain Rescue for the work you're doing. Thank you very much. Thanks, Paddy. And uh, we're going down hill now. It's a bit slippery <laughs> underfoot, <laughs> but we've survived it. So, Rory, um, just explain where we are now. Well, we are coming down a slippery part of the mountain here. Uh, through, through the heather. Through the heather, and uh, in a couple of months' time, this will be beautiful in purple and gold to give you the extra colours, although technically we're in Cardo at the moment. And this place here to our left, uh, Rory, what, what, what's that, that, this place called? Yes, that's the Gibbet Hill. It's, a, it's an old English word. Um, there are many such hills in the UK, but not so many in Ireland. It's, there's only a, a, less than a handful. It's an old English word for uh, the hanging place, uh, the hanging arm of where they used to hang bodies and leave them hanging once they were dead. That's what the word gibbet comes from, and uh, that's the gibbet hill. It was a place of execution in the southeast uh, where people were sent to be hung. Uh, there's fantastic views from there, probably not great if you were being executed, but at least when you went to meet your maker, <laughs> you had a nice view. You had a beautiful view. Well, that's at great. least if you weren't going to heaven, you could say you left heaven. I'm sure that's a great consolation to them, Rory. <laughs> Their last sight is a nice one. Well, it is beautiful here now. Because a few minutes ago, when we were further up the hill, the sun came out, having been behind the cloud at the top of the hill, and now we have a wonderful vista of green hills to the south and forestry straight in front of us, and it's, it's wonderful. So thank you, Rory.